Hi, this is Orlando from Native Studio Account. Today I want to record the text writing field uploader again because I had to remove the video from YouTube for some audio issues. So I just got the new microphone, that's why I'm trying to record this again. So let me show you the final result. Control N test the movie. Here we got our image gallery. Go view, simulate download. And here we got the shock outline, the butterfly animated, and the gradient fill, also the percentage number. Hope it gets 100% and jumps to the second frame where we have our image gallery. Let me just close. And I already set up the project, so let me just go properties and see the dimensions. This, uh, size 900 by 600 pixels and 30 frames per second and i already have my image gallery at the first frame you can use any image if you don't have the website so let me just uh, drag to the second frame and also we want to add uh, three more layers the first one called background the second one one called vignette and the third and call actions just select the vignette in the background and just drag underneath the uh, dynamic text or content and let me just select sound like the background when I set the background you can use any color as a background but for this project I made a, a pattern image in Photoshop let me just show you guys as properties and see this is four pixels by four pixels so now go and make sure the strokes now and the fill one set there's a bit more fill here we go now go to the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle back to the selection tool select the object set the x position zero and the Y position also to zero. And when the height, you give a 600. And the width, 900. And now go back to the uh, vignette. And we want to add a gradient color also. And set black. Make sure the stroke's none. And just drive rectangle select the object go color and use the radio gradient first let me just align to the x0 and the y0 so with 900 and the 600 and now we're going to just set this as a black as well and drag down the opacity to 10 this one 75 and here we go bending it just like this go the dynamic text and content let's go and choose the text tool make sure it's a uh, static and just want to type N S select and just uh, align to the center of stage and move a little bit to the left and uh, just the select go back to the text uh, tool again now and just set this a dynamic and just click select and just uh, align this to the center as well and just scale up a little bit to the right and also we want to give this uh, instance name uh, percent underscore txt hit enter and just go back to the text static text and just hit f8 to convert movie clip and want to call this preloader and double click to get into the movie clip 
and we want to just right click and break apart so now we have two separate objects and just select the S, go modify, transform and flip horizontal and now let me just uh, call this gradient and also we want to add uh, two more layers, I'm going to call this a mask and this one called the stroke. So I'll go back to the uh, gradient layer and let me just select this. So I'm going to work with the gradient layer. So let me just select both of them and once again when we want to break apart now we have a shape mode. So let me just select the end, go color and choose the linear gradient. I already set up the color in case you like to use the same color. So here's the code. Just pause the video and copy. And also we want to just transform the gradient. So for the shortcut is the F. Just move to the right. Just also drag a little bit down. Go back to the selection tool. Select the S. The same thing. We we'll go to linear gradient the F to transform the gradient and this move to the left and move a little up so now here we got now our gradient effect so now we just go to the ink battle tool and make sure this uh, it's black and just click outside of the letters now we have the uh, stroke outline, it's not black. So let me just select this and the same thing, just make sure it's a non fill. And the gradient's the same color we used. So let me just uh, hit again the F, that's the shortcut for the, the gradient transform tool. And this one move to the, uh, the same thing we did with the S. Just okay, go back to the selection tool. Make sure you select the and, and stroke outline and go color the same, the same gradient F key to transform the gradient. This time we move to the right and just move a little bit up. Now, let's uh, just select the stroke, double click to select both of them and control X to cut and go back to stroke and un unlock it and just uh, hit uh, control shift a small B to paste in place and here we got our stroke outline. Now we want to just uh, work with the, uh, the mask so what we have to do first is and draw our uh, rectangle so let me make sure it's a non stroke and the fill it's a green color just draw a square and just select ctrl c to copy ctrl shift v small b to paste in place and let me just cover the s and also let me just select both of them and drag a little bit down. Now just extend the frames to 100. From just the gradient F5 to extend and also the, the stroke F5. Then go back to frame 1 at the first frame. And select both of them and go frame 50. Insert a uh, keyframe, the shortcuts F6, and just deselect and the one to just move the right rectangle a little bit to covers the uh, end, and also just right click and create shape mode. 
now go 51 frame and the same thing f6 go up to frame 100 the same f6 insert keyframe now you just want to move the right rectangle so it covers the s and the same one I did with the and just create a shape mode and here we got our animation so I'm gonna go just right click and mask so we have uh, already done with the text gradient fill so now we want to work with the butterfly so 